We got ourselves Ava Liara over for the team one attack and that's a nuts fed. So apparently right now cross factions have been broken chat. Because Ava Liara can attack Anton, even though they're the same team, which is weird. I wonder if that's broken for all PvP or just in war games. And it may be broken in war games, but for our duels, it works out pretty okay. Beggar gonna be first up over for the team two. With Glush gonna be first up for the team one over in team two. We got ourselves full five man party with Taxi. We got Rogue S in the back. We got ourselves Kelf. We got ourselves Banat as well. And for team two, one, I think. I think it was literally Alva Liara like it was like yo just go we got a one-man army here <laughs> we got glues we don't need nobody so hopefully we'll see somebody on team two potentially see if they can beat the one-man army actually Antipodon is kind of one-man army too isn't he it's gonna be into intermediate stun onto beggar does burn a trick at the end gonna be a cloak of shadows but didn't need to escape the full burst it looks like Glush is gonna go for a full reset look at that go is there a way out of a beggar can he somehow even survive it look this man just ate a full stun into a blind into a sap is there actually no counter for this hold on a second is there actually just no counter here because Beggar's just going to send a full sap until DRs are gone into another kidney shot. And Glush is going to see if he can... Pff, there's actually no counter! Wait, Sub Rogues is actually kind of insane right now. I think you have to get counter aggressive with them as soon as possible. That or find them first. Dude! <laughs> Wait, okay. So Rogues are basically back to where they used to be. Every single expansion Rogues get to the point where they can basically kill you in the opener. You either don't drink it and die. Or you drink it, then they blind you, sap you, stun you, and then kill you. There's actually no way to counter it. Taxi is going to be up next. That's going to be the Incubus kind of outside of the smoke bomb. Can't really stop him. Taxi does pop a big shield in order to try to see if he can survive it. Mortical sand onto the rogue. Interfere right after. Going to be full dodged by Taxi. He might be able to whittle away Gloosh over time. There's going to be the Incubus slowly but surely making his way over. He's going to apply a slow one to Gloosh. And it's going to do a bit of damage, whipping him into shape. Gloosh continues to send in the Shadow Strikes. Just absolutely slice him through the Dark Pack Shield. Taxi with a port. Trying to get some distance. Letting the dots do work. Just letting dots take on Gloosh. It doesn't need to be fighting him all the time. It doesn't need to be cast into him. Letting the dots do work. That's going to be a quick second with CC for a second. As Glush trying to get some damage rolling. Big gateway for Taxi. Got himself a massive, massive heal. That's going to be Glush potentially trying to get a kick, but does miss it. Smut's going to be cloak shot as four. The shadow crash as the wall is up for Taxi. Does that if you're onto Glush. He's able to get dots back up on him. Glush potentially looking for the full reset. The Incubus is not going to let you do that. As a shot him up for a second. More to call onto Glush. Soul Rod to follow. Potentially a big heal. Glush is just dotted up fully. It's going to be all the dots ramped up. No cloak of shadows. Go potentially be in trouble. Needs to get himself some lettuce. Side. does this rogue just die from dots potentially he does have in cell for a second the dots are gonna rot him down but they are gonna get him out in the open if taxi is quick enough he can pour it on top of him get him in combat he's trying to sap on a taxi dots are still running him down and they are gonna eventually get him out in the open he got himself a sippy cup damn dude them rogues as long as he catch himself a restart They'll be okay. Taxi just having to eat those damage of Resonator with the Dark Pack. Might that be enough? Taxi needs a heal right now. Oh! I feel like there, there's nothing you can do if you eat a more if you have a Mortal Coil, that's the only thing that can help you maybe survive and break apart the rogue CC in between those stunts. But I think that man did all he could. I don't know if he trinketed it before or not. But that's rough. Glitch is gonna be up next versus the Feral. Immediate evasion as soon as the Feral. Walks next to him. Barks got off for the kitty maybe a little early. Glush is looking for the full reset. Got some dots rolling on him. Still, I think, with the agony or corruption. Erotic down for a second or two. But he's going to be able to at least get himself a bit of a reset. That's going to be an eye picked up by Kev. Should be able to moonfire him out. Definitely find some. Able to build some calm points. If he can get a bash with the Glush. Glush does not have a trick. It's going to be a bash. Full base of the Glush. Doesn't take him down. Is that going to be potentially it? Glush maybe has himself to pick up with the Kyrian. Blind onto the Feral. Doesn't have a trick for it. Glush has dots rotting him down. Is it going to be enough though? Trying to see if he can get himself to restyle. Does have a restyle. And that shield is enough to keep him alive. Does dive into restealth again. He's just take up another stealth, restealth it just to keep that shield rolling for as much as possible. That shield offsets so much damage. All those dots just let him catch a full reset. And Glush looks like he's been able to survive these dots long enough, letting him drain into that shield. Seeing the Pharaoh pick up the eye, Pharaoh trying to see if he can moonfire the rogue. Does get him out. That's gonna be a potential trinket out of Kev. Barsket, trinket, roar onto Glush. Glush trinketed. I don't know what Glush trinketed, but a Glush trinketed. Wait a second, what did Glush trinket? Did this man make a mistake? 
This potential could be kind an opportunity here. Trying to build some moon fires onto Glush. Maim to follow, possibly. Evasion for the rogue. Calf has to play it very, very defensively. Maybe bear form, dust on himself thorns. Stay in a cat form, get a shot. That's gonna be the rogue continuing to blast out damage to Calf. Cloak of shadows for a second. The thorns continue to deal damage to him. Calf gets himself a little bit of recovery. Blind onto Calf, there's not a trinket. So Glush has himself in the sap. Unless Dodds break Glush out of stealth here. In between of his bursts, and he makes a mistake. Get a shot. Trying to go for big burst. Carry on. It's gonna be kept with a bit of a heal. There's another. It looks like big eviscerate to follow. Oh, just taking him out. Not giving him a chance. Wait, is Anto fighting Ava Maria right now? He's actually gonna kill him. <laughs> Wait a second. Anto and literally killed Ava Maria. <laughs> they were messing with one another. And they were literally dueling each other. And then Anto killed Ava Maria. So the cross faction is bugged, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, they can fight each other, and I guess they were like, you know what? Glush has definitely got this 1v5. You don't really need us. We can just duel each other. But Anton, did he mean to? It was, a, it was an accident? I'm not even sure, <laughs> but he does. So it's really down to Glush literally being a one-man army. Maybe Anton could come back at the very, very end, but that's really about it. <laughs> what is even going on, dude? Banad knows that Glush doesn't have a trinket. Well, hopefully he does. That's his only living grace. I think Glush is going to wait until trinket is back up. Banad at least can do, do burst every minute and it's pretty deadly. If he can survive this burst out of Glush, no resonator, so he's gonna sit. Is that gonna be another in cap to Glush? Ooh, it's so clutch. Banad, I think he's gonna have to go for a big leg sweep. Does Glush go for evasion? He doesn't have evasion. Disarm to Banad for a second. He can't fit for a bit. Disarm to Glush. BDB be down. Leg sweep. Glush has to trick at this. And this looks like it's exactly what's gonna happen. Vanishes out immediately. Banad is gonna go for a bit of healing. Glush wants to get back in there. He wants to make a play before that Lexi was back up. He needs to make a play before that Lexi was up. He doesn't want to fight while Zuen is up. Zuen knows exactly where the rogue is at. Zuen just somehow knows. Zuen just somehow knows. Banad does trick to walk out of the resonator. Karma middle versus rogue. He's got a shadows and just max out the damage of the Banad. Banad rotating with more defensive. He's trying to see if he can live through his eviscerator. It's gonna be another set of images. Fist free. Lock it down. Glush does have evasion for it. And that's gonna be bad out, backing up out of there, rolling away for a second. Vivify spam in order to give himself caught back up on health. Shot us up by the rogue, gonna be port for bad head. Just trying to see if he can avoid the rogue as best possible. Next getting shot could be very, very deadly for the monk. Does he survive it? That's where Glush needs to get as many crits as possible. Does he get him? Bad head needs himself in some kind of heal. Oh! Wait, Anton just stunned Glush? Wait, is Anton one, does Anton want to challenge Glush? Is that what's going on? Wait a second. Does Anta want to duel Glush? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Wait, should Glush go for... Wait, should Glush fight Anton real quick and then fight Rogus? So you can go for a 1v6? <laughs> Wait a second. Is, could this be a 1v6 duel? First 1v6 ever? <laughs> this is gonna get him out the open. Does he want to fight him? Wait, this could be very interesting certain events. His own teammate turns on him. Wait, looks like Rogue S is going to take advantage of Glush being out in the open. Get a shot to follow. Resonant Trinket. Let's go for yet another sun. He needs to make sure another sun happens. Feigned by Glush does survive the Resonant. Completely going to be a Trinket out of Rogue S as they have Evasion rolling in. And Glush trying to see if he can take down Rogue S with the blind. That's going to be full reset. There's nothing he can do. Once he got a trick out of him, Glush, I think there's no way he's just stopped. Uh, Anton, somehow the pets start attacking Rogue S for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think they probably accidentally started attacking him. Nope. That would have been hilarious, though. That would have been extra funny. Rogue S with a kid and shot resonator. There's nothing he could do. Actually, nothing he could do. And it's over. Unforged. I was going to say, maybe Anton and, and Glush could fight each other. Glush, one man army, dude. Didn't need nothing. Fanny was like, yo, just go. 1v3. We could do it. They didn't even need 1v3. They could have just had only one. That's all they really needed. Crazy. Sub rogues are just insane right now, dude. I imagine how they're going to be in season four, chat. If this is how good they are now, imagine how they're going to be in season four. Actually insane. Unbelievable. Blizzard, how... They're going to have to... Dude, they're going to have to cripple rogues of the last season for PvP. They're going to have to do something. I don't know what they would do, but they have to do something.